Hi there, I am Tanya Wilson Cherry and I am a transformational growth strategist, business coach and mentor to women who want to brand, build and profit in their business. I especially work with women in the service-based industry. So if you provide a service, um, if you're in the beauty industry, if you're a realtor, you do design, uh, maybe you have event planning, things of that nature. You provide a service to people in the marketplace. I help you to brand, build, and profit in your business. And on today, I want to talk about how to create premium services that attract premium clients. Now, first, I want to share with you that I think it's important that there is a phase in your business that offers some type of premium service and here's why three reasons why premium premium services are important to your business one they offer you an opportunity for more time freedom two more revenue and three an opportunity to give more value now when you think about this if you're all over the place and you're doing 20 different things it's difficult to really serve at your highest and so one of the first things that you'll want to do when you're wanting to create premium services and attract premium clients is think about simplicity. Think about simplicity. And what does that look like for a business owner like yourself? So if you own a brick and mortar business and you offer multiple services in your business, the busier your service menu is, the less likely a premium client is to get those services. One, premium clients are normally looking for specialty, expertise, um, more higher end offers and services. They're looking for people who are really, really good at a few specific things. So simplifying your business is one of the quickest ways to begin creating premium services that attract premium clients. The next thing is your systems. So your systems are going to allow you the simplicity that you need to give the added value. A premium client is not just looking for um, a product or a service, they're also looking for an experience. And if you're in all of the busy stuff, it's difficult to offer that added value or that added experience that that premium customer is looking for. The next thing that you need in your business is clarity. You need to know what it is that you do. What problem do you serve? Um, what problem do you solve in the marketplace? Getting really clear about what that is is going to help that premium client find you much more easily. Um, clarity on who that client actually is. How do we serve people that we don't know? One of the things I work with my clients on is brand clarity. And during that process, we figure out what that thing is that they're good at. So many of you who are watching have been doing whatever it is that you do, that particular service, for years. And you may have a multitude of things that you're good at, but there are a few specific things that you're great at. And your clarity on that is going to help you in creating a brand that offers premium services and attracts premium clients. <clears throat> so your clarity is everything. And then being really, really clear on who that client is. As I shared with you before, knowing who the customer is, the client that you, the customer that you wish to make a client, allows you to serve them at their highest. And a lot of times we have the mindset that um, if I do more stuff, uh, I'll make more money. And I have not found that to be true. Uh, the busier I am doing busy stuff and not being really clear and defined about um, how great I am or what the great things are that I do that can help people, um, the less revenue actually comes in. We also have the mindset that if we uh, continue to like lower our prices and you know compete with other pe people for pricing that we'll get more clients. I found it takes just as much energy or if not more to get a client who is only looking for a bargain or deal than it does to get a premium customer. Um, I'm going to give you two personal examples. So I've been an entrepreneur for over 27 years. I owned a brick and mortar service based business for 10 years prior to coaching and consulting full time 
for women just like you. And I remember in the early stages of my career, my mentor shared with me that my clientele was a reflection of who I was. At that time, I was partying and clubbing and going to the mall, and that's where I was passing out my business card. And what was happening was I was getting a lot of clients, but they weren't consistent. And when your clients aren't consistent, you can't grow your business because your cash flow isn't consistent. You, you don't know what you can invest in, uh, how you're going to cover overhead and things of that nature. So my clients weren't consistent. And about two to three years after she shared that with me, this little thought went through my head and said, your clientele is a reflection of who you are. And I began to think about who is that client that is going to allow me to grow my business consistently and that I can actually serve to the highest. And that's when I began to completely and fully be um, the highest version of myself. I completely changed my clientele and began attracting people who were consistent. They could afford my services. They referred people and business was soaring. Uh, an another uh, moment where I thought about how my clientele is a reflection of who I am and a big part of who you are is in your thinking. So I didn't tell you, but I teach from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. And I believe that abundance mindset is necessary if you're going to really smash your goals, create something amazing, and create great revenue in your business because you're in business to profit, right? And so in that thinking about abundance mindset, your mindset is going to be the biggest key or the biggest tool to creating those premium services. One, you have to believe that what you have is valuable enough for that premium client that you're actually looking for. And so I thought about um, every time I get ready to go to new levels, it's my mindset that has to change first. I remember um, as a coach and consultant, my highest product was around $1,000. And I created this program that I knew gave extreme value and it deserved a premium price point. That price point was 6K. So that's like a 5K increase from my highest product at that time, which was $1,000, to a 6K product. It required me to remove the limiting beliefs, you know, all those thoughts about, you know, who's going to want to purchase it, um, are they going to find the value in it. I can't offer anything at that price. All the things that go through your mind, I had to remove that limiting belief that was keeping me stuck. And within one week after getting in full alignment with my offer, because many of you may be attempting to offer premium services at premium prices and not getting the clients and the results, but you have to be in alignment with what it is that you're offering. So I got in alignment and within a week I was signing people with ease into that 6k program every single time i wish to go to a new level i have to change my mindset about how i am operating my business what it's going to require and thirdly believe fully in the value that i'm offering the customer in the transformation that's going to transpire in their life and their business mindset is my baby um, i'm huge i'm also a certified life coach and uh, for me, one of the things I understand about what we do is we help you to create a future bigger than your past. And that often means that you are removing some of the thoughts that you had. Sometimes when you're taking your business to the next level, you got to forget all the stuff that you learned before, right? And replace that with new thoughts, higher thoughts, higher God thoughts, I like to call them, that really actually allows you to grow your business in a way that will attract those premium clients and then allow you to offer the premium service. I always share with my clients, figure out those things that you're good at, not the 50 things that you're good at, but the things that you're most great at, three minimum, get really, really good at those things and then learn how to um, attract your perfect people into your business. But all of that is based on mindset. I'll be sharing a technique that I created that I use every time I want to hit a new income goal or um, some type of change in my business is I always have to change my mindset, right? Because we have these thoughts in our subconscious mind that 
we don't hear all the time and they're operating and they're working even when we don't think they're working. And so oftentimes they're keeping us from our next level. I'll be sharing four steps I use to get in alignment when I need to take my business to a new level, when I even need to um, reinvent myself or make a change. So I transitioned from owning a brick and mortar service based business to replacing my income and coaching and consulting full time. It required some mindset shifts and I want to invite you in to take those shifts with me to manifest at a new level and um, and really see change and transformation not only in your business but also in your life. I believe and I know to be true what you're thinking, how you're thinking, how you're processing information is going to show up every single day in your business. It's going to show up in your offerings to your customers, your marketing, your messaging, and it's definitely going to show up in your bottom line. I want to help you, one, think at the highest version of yourself, operate and function your business at the highest version that it can so that you can offer those premium services and you can really explore in your area of expertise and attract those premium clients. Now I do offer premium services. I want to help you simplify your process so that you can create more time freedom on your journey to financial freedom and it starts with your mind. So when you're thinking about creating premium services and attracting premium clients, one of the first steps is a mindset shift. And I want to take you through that. Your thinking, your mind has a lot to do with your money and everything else you set out to do.